Hello people, this is our Cobra and this is Let's Play The Witcher Free Blind. Come on. Last time we did a little bit of odd ah. working around, found some stuff that had been forgotten and so on, and today I believe the first one we should maybe go talk with uh um, Roach Jigstron Rock? Rosh? Huh. It's back to better while. Can't even remember how his name pronounced. Right, give me the coin. Tails we clean the shit out of the stable. Hey, go grab some tea. Fill in your coins first, really to go in the cabins near about here to burn them. Man, they're still on about their fucking stable? That's like really old news. Like that's old news for me. Slow now. Whoa. Let's see, poor side warehouse. So we probably need to move a little bit closer via this, yes. Ah, this one's nice and look close. He was out to murder me! Liar! What pandes on me, Dan Vent? They told me, avoid doing business with dwarven scum! Stunted bricks always cheat! But, uh, does you let the beast in there? Does me bales of sulk are driving you mad with jealousy? Shove your bales up your ass! Shut it! Or I'll lock you both up! Look, can I help you? Ooh, because I'm trying to have a conspiracy Fuck, next door. human You're everywhere! Silence! Now we'll do this quick. I've got a little witcher chore. You willing? Little chores aren't usually worth the pay. Well, this will be, don't you, Fred? Now, just be quick about it. I've wasted enough time on these two pricks. A share warehouse. Monsters cropped up in it. Cropped up? On its own? You put it there. You meant it to rip my noodle off so you could get your paws on my goods. Don't try to spin this, shorty. I don't care who shook the ghoul or the strigger on who. Beast's got to be dealt with. That's that. So what'll it be, would you? I'll do it. Fine, I'll see to it. I'll not have it. Non-humans, they stick together. These two are like to prove it's no ghoul at all, but my dear departed Nan. I didn't get a good look at the mug, but now you mention it, it could very well be. Shut it, or I'll send inspectors to your storehouse just as soon as the monster's dispatched. That won't be necessary. I mean, the razor's really coming off as a, you know, dick, so, uh, should I do this now? Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, it's probably for the best, like, you know. Sawed through, that's why it escaped. Why deep print? A dwarf? Doesn't appear to be anything else in here. Check out here real quick. It's locked. Well, I mean, I suppose just because the guy's a racist douchebag doesn't mean that he's, you know, responsible for everything that happens.
<laughs> so, you take care of the beast? Yes. I knew Iron which would be quickest. So, figure out how it got in there. Found a cage. Someone had kept the necker in it. Bars had been sawed through, though. So, someone wanted it to escape. Which one of them did it? Well, I found the dwarf's footprint, so... I think it was the dwarf. What? Rubbish! Tripe! Why the hell would they do that? Seems plausible this racist got under your skin. But... That's enough! Here's your pay. And you... Come with me. Can't wait to watch him swing. Someone will have to lift him onto the stool. Hey, you're still an asshole. But he didn't actually do this. Armed ruffians in town. Scandalous. Who's there? Witcher Geralt. Get in here. Boss awaits upstairs. You bloody tell us what this is about. Just as soon as Geralt arrives. Should he arrive? If you won't plow and talk, least you can do is pour around. Bloody suspense has made my throat dry. What is this, Vasily Hat Club? <laughs> Man, I thought you were just balding, but no, you were wearing a silly hat too. Everyone here is wearing Jigstra, please. Darling, you might want to reconsider the uniform. Witcher, at last. Now, we're all present. Uh, and up the fucking creek. Why have you summoned us? Radovid's on his ship. We'll not get to him there, I've told you. Stop it. I've an idea how to draw him onto dry land. But all in due course. Let's start by confessing our sins. I let Philippa Eilhart in on our plan. Mea culpa. Bravo. Bloody bravo. Now, now, it's not a disaster. The Lady Sorceress is highly unlikely to warn the brat. What's more, she's willing to help us kill him. Naturally, it's nothing I'll ever agree to. But Phil, she's inspired me. Call her my muse. Inspired you to do what? Patience. We've yet to get to the substance of the matter. Geralt, do I recall correctly that Radovid's hired you to find Philippa? That's right. Are you thinking about making a fake one? Mm -hmm. Only thing I've found is her hideout. What's your point? We can use Philippa without involving her, provided you help. Radovid expects you to report to him. Bring him information about her. All you need to do is mention her name. Intimate that you've a lead. You're on her trail. Oh, he'll swallow that. Hook, line, sinker, and a good bit of the rod as well. And if if I do say I know uh, no how to so it's not even not true. Let's say Radovid bites, believes me, and none of that's a given. What then? You'll tell him you've found Philippa's hideout. Somewhere where we can easily set a trap and ambush. Suggestions? Bridge to Temple Isle. Built up both sides. Lots of nooks, gates. Easy to block off from the rest of the city. Good idea. I'll divide my men. Post half on one end, other half on the other, by the gate. And in the middle, Vess, with a well-oiled crossbow. You yeah. see, Geralt? All we ask is that you invite Radovid out for a stroll, bring him to the bridge. We'll take care of the rest. So what'll it be? Sure! In fact, if I can get an opportunity to stab the frog myself, I'll mull up for it. You, blue boy, you better not fuck this one up! I'm in. But once it's done, what then? There'll be an uproar in the city. Panic, maybe. Need a place where we can wait it out. Thought of that already. Remember Madame Marina's theatre? Abandoned now, not a soul looks in there. Tala and I will await you there. Await us? Unwilling to risk your own necks? 
Not the point. Dijkstra and I have many cocksucking virtues, but fighting ability is just not one of them. About as fit for that as we are for a bleeding beauty pageant. Well, that's an honest assessment. Don't worry, Geralt. My people are battle hardened. They'll manage. You just bring them the kill. Great, and you just don't get them killed again, please. Where's his ship moored these days? Just around the corner in Novograd's port. And for your sake, I hope he's in a good mood when you look in on him. Wait, there's something on that all. I was Let's listening to and hearing My it. My lads will make sure of that. Guards round the temple, what about them? Won't they bloody congregate when they see the fighting? If they're paid a tidy sum, they won't. Awesome. Is Philippa looking in on this because she wants to be part of it? Philippa, what the hell are you doing here? Geralt, don't ask questions you know the answers to. It makes you look stupid. Eavesdropping on your conversation, naturally, with a good deal of interest and a measure of wonder. Mind telling me what you found puzzling? Your naivety. Do you honestly believe Radovid will fall for such a crude ruse? Well, maybe not, but I'm planning on managing. Might be tough to trick, but I think I'll manage. Hmm. I hope you take a more serious approach to confronting the Wild Hunt. Provided, of course, you survive long enough to undertake... Woman, well, I've been yelling insults at them Philippa, all game long. Why even tell me this? Concerned about me that much? Not at all. It's because I think it vital that Radovid die. On that we agree. <laughs> you don't want my help, more's the pity. But I shall do what I can to make certain you don't fuck it up. Here, take this. A ring. Redanian eagle etched in the ruby. It belonged to Vizimir, Radovid's father. Hand him that, and he may believe you captured me. He might even choose to trust you. Hmm. Interesting. Is there a catch to this? Because you sorceresses have a bad habit of that. What's the catch? There is none. Philippa, I know you too damn well. Always got a plan. Always got at least two irons in the fire. This time I shall be content with one. Radovid's head planted at its end. Hmm. Good luck, Geralt. You'll need it. I'm actually inclined to believe her. But it doesn't hurt to ask. Now, where the hell is he? It made it sound like he was right around the... Well, he is right around the bloody corner. Go for it. Faster. Oh, that reminds me. I should probably check what trophy I got on right now. Bonus experience with monsters. I'm sure I can do better. There, the water hack. Bonus experience from everyone. The seas are tossing, tossing, and the wind. So pretty, but he can't keep his hands off himself. Well, if this really kills him, I'll be kind of impressed. I guess the experience has to be a little bit bigger, but maybe we're saving that for shanking the other Emperor guy and the Lord of the Wild Hearts. Oh, But I guess it makes sense. I guess you're not obligated to end him, so it would be in a sort of side quest. Oh, okay, so it's time to go, uh, hopefully end this.
Look, I need to talk with the crazy in charge. What do you want? An audience. Got new information about Philippa Eilhart. I'll need your weapons. Now follow me. Look, I could rip the gun in half with my bare hands. I'm not worried about my weapons. Your Majesty. The Witcher. With news of Philippa Eilhart. I hope you brought something better than magic crystals this time. Yes, yes, you lunacy. I know where she is. Perhaps. Or perhaps you seek to trick me. Like the others. What others? Well, that's a good question. What others? What others? Ah. <sighs> You see, a rumor went around that I'd generously reward any who bring information about Eilhart. There's no shortage of the greedy and the stupid, so a queue quickly formed at the gangway to the ship. The first aboard was a hunter. Brought me a dead owl with no eyes. He thought I'd believe it, shower him with gold. I had him blinded, then thrown overboard with a stone tied round his neck. The second was the postmaster from Oxenfurt. Claimed to have a letter she'd penned. It was forged, of course. I had his fingers cut off. He'll never write again. Oh. And I took his tongue. The spoken lie is just as reprehensible. Do you need a hobby, man? Needless to say, the rest of the queue dispersed quickly. Wow. I mean, you know, I get it. Scammers. Needs to be punished. Um, uh, but this seems kind of excessive. I'm a professional. Got a reputation to uphold. Be stupid of me to come to you empty-handed. My father's ring. Philippa used it to stamp her decrees, then distribute them as the word of the king. Where is she? Under your nose, sire. In Novigrad. In a house on the bridge leading to Temple Isle. Why haven't you brought her to me? Gotta capture someone to take them anywhere. All I did was track her down. Then stole this ring as proof that I had. Do you fear her? No. You wanna kill her yourself. With your own hands. I know this. You shall come with me. Hubrecht, gather the men. How many, sire? All of them. Oh, Joey! I was so afraid there would be leftovers, but I get to wipe you all out. Awesome. That bridge is gonna be red after this, I tell you that. Well, where is she? Where is Philippa? Like I said, house on the bridge, closer to the other end. Close off this end. We need no guests, no innocent bystanders, or witnesses. Shame. Damian, Duke, Egbert, Freak, Kaspar. You shall stay here, secure the rear, and kill the Witcher. Really? This how you reward those who serve you? It is how I punish those who irritate me. You know too much. You impede me too often. And I find your arrogance an annoyance. I've had men killed for less. I know. That's why I'm Follow me. Do you guys really believe you can take me? I mean, seriously? Any last words? <laughs> Fuck! Free the Witcher. Then run of it. So he was going to betray me. So be it. We'll improvise. Follow me, Geralt. We must get to Radovid before reinforcements arrive. If the reinforcements arrive, I'll butcher them as well.
Is somebody dying? Yes, the game wants me to I like that silver. No, that one dies just fine. Now that one's dying just fine. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe a glitch? Ow! I think I got shot. A witch hunt us! Oh, I'm always happy to kill you. Street melee is a little bit chaotic. This. There's a lot of people after all. Long live the king, eh? Open up! I command you to open the door! You needed merely to ask. You found her! No! No! That settles the score. And that was from the heart. You know, I want to devote myself, but I'll settle for killing me. so many of his men. I could not deny myself the pleasure. No, no, it's fine. I understand. How did she... Where? Why? How the fuck? Eve's dropped on us, back at the warehouse. What? And you didn't think it worth mentioning? Lads, the time to discuss this is later. Radovid is dead. It matters not by whose hand. No, Mission it doesn't. accomplished. Now let's get the hell away. Place will be thick with Redanians in minutes. Let's go. I'm just happy he's dead. Well, I wish I could have done it myself, but I suppose you wouldn't have put in much of a boss fight. Wow, that church bell. I was confused for saying, well, that was outside for some reason, I knew. Well, what? Is it done? It's done. Though all did not go according to plan. More on that later. First, a stiff drink and a toast. The North. Tamaria. Tamaria! Bloody Tamaria! Sure, let's give it. Tamaria. Ugh. What now, Roach? Roach, A yeah. new guerrilla campaign against the Black Ones? No. The war just ended. Pardon? How's that? There's something I don't know about? I'd say so. You see, tomorrow at noon, the commander of Army Group Center will sign a truce in Amir's name. A truce whose wording we agreed with Dijkstra. So back there in Velen, when the trolls nabbed you? Yes, I was returning from the last round of talks. 
Amir will keep Edion and Lyria, but in exchange for Radovich's head and a stop to guerrilla activities, he will withdraw from Temeria, which will become the Empire's vassal state. So what? Self-ruled internally, with its own courts, administrative structures and army. The silver lilies will bloom neath the rays of the great sun. I'm sorry, what? what say, You're setting up the north of that, dude? But I'm not. So all I'll say is there was no other fucking way. Yeah, I know. That guy's gonna fuck you over. You don't know Amir. He'll outwit you. Take your toys as if you were children. Oh, don't you fret. We've heads on our shoulders, eyes all around. Take Dijkstra, for instance. If it were done when tis done, then twere well it were done quickly. That but this blow might be the be-all and end-all here. What's that? Vakmeth, Act 1, Scene 7. Always wanted to play that. Never cast as anything but a halberdier. I mean Geralt, what Tala told you. Put it out of your mind. There will be no truce with Nilfgaard. Redania, under my enlightened rule, will fight on until it wins. And when it does, it will unite all the North, including Temeria. What? Ow! This is not what we plow and agreed. True. Instead, we insisted on one realm's questionable sovereignty. And to recover it, we gave Amir virtually all the North's other kingdoms. It was not a wise arrangement, so no deal. He's got a point! Two-faced horseman. I will not allow this. Actually, you, Roach, should be the first to understand I've no choice. Why the hell would I understand? Because you too are a patriot. Geralt, this doesn't concern you. You may go. Fare thee well on your path, or what not. Oh, fuck. Uh, no. Uh, it's not my concern, so I should let you do what you will. But you're a real son of a bitch, you know that? <laughs> it's why I'll make an excellent Chancellor. Sorry. Farewell, White Wolf. I can't hand the North over to him. I couldn't let them do that. I couldn't let them hand over the entire North to that other lunatic. Why would you agree to this? Really? You sold all the entire north to Nilfgaard, you fucking moron? Why did any of you think that was a good idea? So that one country could have sort of become a puppet stage? That didn't feel good, but... Jigster's right. That guy... He'll just move in and take over. One way or another. He can't be allowed that sort of power. And oh boy, that felt awful. Oh. That actually felt awful. I didn't even get to think about it. That was the worst part. It was just like make an instant choice. What would happen if the time I'd run out? Oh. I, I'll, I, I think I actually generally need a break after that. That was, that was actually hard. That, I couldn't let them do it. It's, they didn't even mention this before, but sending out the entire north to that guy, to M here. 
with everything he's done, I couldn't let them do that. I didn't. I would have preferred them not to die, but... But I couldn't let them do that. I couldn't let them sell out the north. Gifter was right. It was a stupid deal. All those other countries handed over to the south, and one country maybe gets some sort of independence. It would never work out. I can't believe it. I can't believe that could work out. Yep. <sighs> Only dodge the executioner's axe. Yeah. Considering this kind of monsters are regularly, I don't think a couple of humans would have been a real actual problem. Sacrifices have to be made occasionally. We have to think big. And as much as I like us to, even though Roche have done so many stupid things. <sighs> this was just the latest in a long line of stupid decisions made that's gonna get a lot of people killed. I mean, yeah, I know. The war will get people killed. It's war. I get that. I'm not blind to that. But Emir? I wouldn't trust him with leading a troop of Girl Scouts. They're all over with uh, half a continent, or however more that actually is. And as much as I like those Bess and Monocle guy... <sighs> they should never have gone along with that, selling out everything, just for so little. And then again, if I had to say, M here will die, so you know. Anyway, this has been Eric Cobra, and this has been Let's Play The Witcher Free Blind. See you all around.